Hey y'all, so I just made it home. I know the footage is bad, but I'm about to open it. Blind. Oh, look how much better. My little dark house. I love my brown walls though. I can't change them. I just gotta figure out how to um just film and find some good spots. But yeah, just made it home. Me and the hubby had a nice little date, daytime date while the kids was at school. Um, the kids are on their way. My husband is going to pick up the kids. And I came home so I could feed the pups and take them out. Um, so they can use the bathroom. I don't see any accidents, so that's good. I'm just opening up the house with the blinds and all. We got some grub grub. Let me turn the light on. So, let me show y'all what we got. We went to this place in, what is this? In Metairie. And um, my husband got some ribs. What kind of ribs are they? Um, Parmesan and I got some greens. Y'all know how me. I like I like soul food. Okay, I need soul food. But he got some Asian barbecue. He got garlic parmesan and some other kind of ribs. I don't know, y'all. I think it's like Asian barbecue or something. Like S H sweet, hot, spicy. I don't know. I'll let y'all know what it is. I don't know, but I'll let y'all know how it looks. I know, baby. I just want to take one quick bite out these greens because they smell so good. Let me this see. is the garlic parmesan ribs. Ooh, I know you smell it. You smell it, boo. This is the, I think it's like sweet heat. That's what it is. S-H. Sweet heat. Ribs. They look so good. And then this is my plate. I don't know why I got just ribs. So this is the baked chicken. I don't know what this is. Maybe potato salad. And my baby is yawning. They sleep the whole time we are gone. And then he, this is the greens. I don't know what that is. Oh, cornbread. I just want one little bite. One little bite. One little bite. All right, so I'm about to try it out. Y'all know I love greens. I love okra. I like soul food in general. So let me try this out. I'm about to take y'all, baby. I'm so... Mm, mm. It's good. I gotta add some red pepper flakes to it because I like it spicy. This is actually really good. Okay. Okay. I'm gone. I shouldn't start. I didn't eat breakfast, y'all. So, like, I cook breakfast for the kids, but I didn't eat any. I'm gone. I'm gone. Because they're going to make an accident if I don't take them. Let me go. Okay. I'm coming. I'm coming. I don't know. They are so wild outside and so chill inside. <laughs> Alright y'all, so this is the outfit of the day that I'm wearing. I told y'all I was going to try to dress up more. So I have this cute little shirt, white shirt with these cute little cargo pants and my little Nikes. Y'all, my feet itch. It has been a while since I wore tennis shoes. I got to get used to it because I don't know if it's the constriction or what. The mirror, y'all already know the little kids be in here. So it just got in there. I'm going to clean it up soon. But yeah, I just want to show y'all that I am trying to practice what I pre preach. And yeah, wear something cute, decent, comfortable, of course. So this is it. It's so cute. All right, y'all. Everybody's home. Um, I'm filming on the camera, so I know it's a little blurry, but it's it's gonna get better. I'm gonna get my camera together. I have to charge the batteries. But we need to get some dog food. Dog food is so expensive. So we got the big old bag or whatever. It's too big. Well, it's empty now. Let me get it right quick. So we had to get the dogs some dog food. This is the food that we get them. We put it in their little containers. I'm gonna be throwing this away. But since I figured that we needed dog food, I might as well make the grocery delivery worth it because we usually get um the express 90 minute one i don't know we impatient y'all so we paid like an extra ten dollars even though we could get it for free because <laughs> we prepaid it year or whatever so i was like you know what if we're gonna spend money on it we might as well 
spend some money on it. So I wanted to get a whole bunch of board games because our board games are missing pieces. So I just replaced them. So I got Twister, Trouble, Connect Four. This is my jam here, yeah, this is my jam. And this whole bunch of stuff it is chess, checkers, tic tac toe, folding game board. Yeah. So we got that. Yeah. Because we were playing chess while y'all was playing checkers. Yeah. So we got that. And then we got. Okay, I may have went a little overboard. But we got. Let's go fishing. This is for the little kids. And the game of life. Okay. Do I have Monopoly? No. Oh, snap. Okay. Sorry, I don't have Monopoly. Candyland. Yahtzee. We don't really play Yahtzee. This is really not our jam, but I got it anyway. For variety. The kids' all-time favorite operation. Gotta get it. Gotta get it. It's missing the ones we had. The one we had is missing pieces. Like, child, ain't nothing to dig out. We had to improvise and put our own stuff in there to make our own little uh, <laughs> little body parts, girl. Cause we wouldn't have no pencil. We'll just get like a piece of paper and put it in there and try to dig it out. It's a mess. It's a mess. Improvise. That. Jinga. I may have went a little too overboard with the games. I didn't realize that. Uno, I need to get some regular cards because y'all believe it or not, I am, I don't know how to play speed. No, I don't. And then this, this is, oh, I wasn't supposed to get the other checkers thing. I was supposed to get this, but whatever. So we got, this is a 10 game set. So what all is this? Wooden cabin with double side top board, 30 backgammon pieces, 32 chess pieces, 24, Checkers pieces, 60 Chinese checkers pieces, 30 pickup sticks, two dice, one double, double and cube instructions. Pickup sticks is my jam also. So that is what I got. I'm in my little baking era. Y'all know around this time of the year. That's usually when we uh, step into our baking era. So, you know, a smile. We bake, but you know, we really bake around fall and winter. So I got this. Yeah. So we can bake. I have some metal ones, but I thought this would be fun too. They plastic, but this would be fun too. So it's just to make like a whole bunch of cookies. So I have the basic like circle stars for the metals, which I absolutely love. But I got this. I thought this would be fun with the kids to make, you know, if I could find some like, oh, they got like the gingerbread and then I see the pumpkin and you know, we could just make it fun with our baking time with the kids. Also, I love to make homemade cookies. I got a little KitchenAid thing. I don't know if y'all can see it, but it's somewhere with all that clutter. But anyway, <laughs> I got these cookies. Um, just for tonight, because it's a school night, I got these cookies just to make things a little faster and easier. So I got the chocolate chips and I got the sugar cookies. I like sugar cookies, but then my kids like chocolate chips so we got a variety of them we're gonna bake them they 20 there are 24 cookies so we probably gonna do half and half because 24 six people there's still a lot of cookies it's like four six twelve eight twenty four yes yeah, so four cookies i feel like it's a good dessert so i got these also those greens they wasn't hitting like they were supposed to because they wasn't seasoned that good so i brought me some diced tomatoes for tomorrow i plan on making me some smothered okra i need some soul food and that's gonna help y'all know how so y'all know like Homemade soul food, even though it's a soul food restaurant, but when you make your own food, you know how to season it, add the right meat, add the right everything to it to make it good because nobody's a better chef than you. So that is why I just brought me some diced tomatoes and some okra. I already have okra, sausage, shrimp. I just need the diced tomatoes. And I'm going to jazz that up tomorrow. I cannot wait. That's going to be dinner, but today it is Monday, it should be a red beans and rice day, but I didn't I didn't do any red beans. So I have some 
white beans that are froze. Let me show you how I do it. Defrosting, but so I'm gonna just put this in a pot with some water. Like I dated and everything. White beans, 927, 23 was when I made it. Today is what today is October the 9th. So maybe about two weeks later. I'm telling y'all, like cook and batch, freeze it. Then those days where life is busy, life is crazy, or you just don't feel like cooking. Defrost it, put it in a pot, jazz it up, season up, add your meats, your seasoning, all that good stuff. Chef's kiss. Dinner is ready. Tastes so good. And it's it's pre-made. It's like kind of like to a certain extent of like a frozen TV dinner. Hello fresh pre-prep. Kind of like what you did yourself. So you know it costs a whole lot less money. But um I brought me some whipped cream. I haven't drunk any coffee today. I don't think I'm gonna drink any coffee today, which is good. No caffeine for me, no coffee, no energy drinks, no nothing. I've just been vibing off of orange juice and water. And I have some tea, but I didn't have tea either. I have caffeine-free tea. But um, yeah, so I'm going to help the kids with their homework, make sure they shower and all. And we're gonna spend some family time and I'll catch up with y'all in a little bit. I know I'm looking here, there, everywhere because I'm used to looking at the red dot and looking at myself in a camera. But the camera is over here. <laughs> so sorry if I look this way, but I'm talking to the camera like, I know, I'm gonna get used to it. I'm gonna get used to it. I'm trying to, I'm trying to get used to recording off the phone, the camera, and then I have my other camera too. So I'm trying to get used to doing all that. But we getting better. And look, y'all, I found a better angle. Look how good this looks. This looks so much better. I mean, you know, the kitchen is lived in, the house is lived in. So we got a little clutter here, there, and everywhere. But other than that, like, this is a good thing. So I think I'm gonna stop filming over there. But then again, today is later in the afternoon and it's really sunny, so it looks better all over. It will look really better in my camera. I got the blinds open. Um, we're gonna get it situated. We're gonna get it figured out. But right now, the lighting is lighting. It's doing what it's supposed to do. And yeah, I'm gonna see y'all in a little bit. <laughs>
for when I do need to do it. Alright y'all, so I'm just sitting back and relaxing. Um, I just finished dinner. The kids have white beans and rice. And if they want, they can have some of the ribs that my husband had purchased. So that's going to be their dinner. Um, I'm going to go back in there with them so we can have our little nighttime routine. Um, not really nighttime routine. Nighttime conversation. But uh, yeah, standing up that long, I just need to sit down. My back hurt. So, <laughs> what's up? The cookies? Yeah. Get um two sugar cookies and two chocolate chips. So two of each. Start them off on two and then depending on how hard they get, uh, I'll let them get the other two. Cause I made 24, so there's enough for everybody to get two. Is that right? No, they probably can get two each. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, 6, 12, 18, 24. I keep saying it, but I keep, I don't know, forgetting. But, um, yeah, just wanted to come on here and check in with y'all. Um, I'm tired. I'm exhausted. It's like 7, so we still got time for a movie. So I'm going to let them eat, and then we're going to watch a movie. We're probably going to play a board game, but then again, we probably don't. I don't know. I'm going to let them vote. So, or we can split up. Whoever want to play a game could play a game. What's up? And whoever wanna watch the movie can watch the movie. What's up? Go sit at the table, baby. You gonna drop crumbs. <laughs> See, they hype before they even eat the cookies. So just imagine how lit they about to be. So if they wanna play the game, they could um play a game, just let them choose. And or if they wanna watch a movie, they wanna split up, you know, that's fine. Uh but yeah, that's probably pretty much how the night is gonna go. And then um I'm, the, the kitchen needs to be clean, but I'm honestly so exhausted. So I don't know if I'm going to clean it tonight or tomorrow. I might wait. I love to wake it up to a clean kitchen and then making breakfast. But if I need to wake up and clean up and make breakfast, that's fine with me. I'm not going to stress or press about it too much. But yeah, that looks like how our night is going to be. I am happy though today. I dressed up and I looked cute. <laughs> they be loud with their conversations. I dressed up and I did look cute for the day when we went somewhere so i am happy about that i gotta take more pride in my appearance um yeah and stop just walking out the house uh, not any kind of way but i know i can do better so why not just put a little extra effort to do it um yeah i'm rambling y'all so i'm gonna go spend some time with the kids before it's time for me to spend time with the hubby before we go to sleep so i'll see y'all tomorrow good morning y'all so today is tuesday um, I'm just getting up. I'm about to make the kids breakfast and then I'm going to um, wake them up. My little ones like to eat breakfast before they get ready. And my older kids like to eat breakfast after they get ready. So that's what I'm about to do. Um, I just wanted to quickly come in here and say good morning to y'all. Um, I'm going to brush my teeth, wash my face. We kind of rushing a little bit. I can see the sun is out, so I'm pressing for time. Um, so I'm gonna do it really fast. I wanted it to be more aesthetically pleasing, like a little morning routine, but that's not the case because I am rushing. Um, but yeah, good morning. How y'all doing? How y'all feeling? I hope that y'all have an amazing, blessed, and great day today. I keep wanting to look this way. I need to look this way. <laughs> I'm gonna work on it, I'm getting it, I'm getting it. But yeah, I just wanted to check in. I'm gonna see y'all in a little bit. I'm gonna have some clothes on too, cause I just have my pajamas on with a robe cause it's kind of chilly in the morning, which I'm so happy. Hello fall, finally, finally you're showing your coolness here. But yeah, let me get the kids ready and I'll see y'all in a little bit.
Mm -hmm. Mommy, I'm happy. Can I have some? In my hair, make me beautiful. Okay. All right, Ace. Ace. He just went outside. You got it. Do the best you can. This is perfect. Now, the headband. Oh, I'm so beautiful. You, you made me so pretty. Wait, it fell. Do it one more time. Oh, there we go. Oh, I'm so beautiful. Thank you, my love. Thank you. My hairstyle. My hairstyle is for the day. I'm cute, cute, yo. All right, y'all. So I am back. Um, Drop the kids off. Um... It is chilly outside, so I'm back in my robe. I am honestly so sleepy this morning, but I'm trying to not go to sleep. That's why I had coffee today, because um, I ain't gonna say I haven't been trying to drink coffee, but I have been drinking less of it. But I drank a coffee today. It was so good today, pumpkin spice latte. Um, just to give me some energy this morning, because I stayed up entirely too late. Um, we watched Mega Mine last night it was so funny but it was kind of our internet has not been really good it is not good at all it's horrible so we was watching it it was freezing for a bit and then between that that's getting the kids anxious and then they had cookies so it was it was a little challenging to get them settled down but we did um i just put on a lullaby for the little ones last night and that helped like calm them down and my older ones, I just put on some lofi, lofi, lofi. I put that on, and that helped them. Like, well, they're not really hard to settle down, but it helped, you know, ease them into a quiet, nice little mood. They settled down with their lofi music um, playing in the background. Overnight, I feel like, well, the thing that runs the most in our house is bathroom lights and tv but at night i noticed that i have to walk around the house and turn off all the lights and usually the lights that's on are the bathroom lights and the um the tvs those stay on but since they were listening to music last night until they fell asleep i just let it on i mean let it play so it literally played all throughout the night um and i just turned off their lights and uh their tvs um then i stayed up late because my husband wanted to watch uh, I don't even know what we was watching. We was watching some kind of anime that I have, I, I was, I was watching it, but then again, I wasn't watching it. <laughs> it was one of those uh, things where, you know how you watch a movie with somebody and it's for both of y'all, like y'all both are into it. Cause we just got through watching Pirates of the Caribbean. Uh, we watched, I think it's like four of them. It, the first two was pretty all right. The second two, I don't know. I don't know what other two came from, but we watched that. So that was both like both of us was interested. And then he wanted to watch this anime chat. I don't know what was going on. At first when I was watching it, I thought it was like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Child, it was not. But <laughs> he wanted to watch it, so it was for more for him. And we're still spending quality time together. So yeah. Um but yeah, today I'm just kind of tired. I read my Bible and I read the book of Y'all, I'm feeling this. Uh, I don't want to get distracted, but I'm feeling this. I got it on the cinem cinematic. So, like, the background is blurred. Y'all, the house child. I washed the dishes last night. I know I go from here to everywhere. I'm going to get it back to the Bible. But I'm going to say, uh, I washed dishes last night, but I do need to clean up. I really need today to be a clean up day. So, when the sun come out, I am going to clean up because I washed the dishes last night. I did not wipe down the counters. I put the food up. I didn't even put the food up in containers. I just put the pots in the fridge, y'all. So I'm gonna get that together. Um, I don't. I want a new pot set. There I go rambling. There I go, y'all. I be rambling. <laughs> we we usually get back to where we supposed to go. We go all around the over book bush. 
mulberry bush. But we get back to it. But yeah, so I read my book, uh, Bible. And I read the book of Joel. Excuse me if I pronounce some of the names wrong. Because I remember on one of my vlogs, I was saying the book of Job. And my mom saw the video. And my sister. And she was like, girl, it is not the book of Job. It's the book of Job. Job. But... We knew what I was talking about. I just was pronouncing it wrong. <laughs> but yeah, I'm pretty sure that's how you pronounce it though, Joel. Uh, and it's funny too, because I go to church. I watch church. I still be pronouncing stuff wrong. Like, I don't know. There's so many, like, especially the Pharaoh names. I be getting them all wrong. But anyway, I read the book of Joel. Really enjoyed it. Really liked it. It's not long if you just want to... Um, read a chapter, read a book in one morning. Cause I know it usually takes me a couple of mornings. I say, I want to say about a week to read each book, especially the long books. Cause I'll read a couple of pages and I like to write my thoughts of how I'm feeling about it, my understanding of it. And then uh, usually when I, this is what I love to do, especially when I have time, I like to read and read the Bible, a couple of pages, and then bask in it, like sleep on it and all that good stuff. So I'll take like a morning nap per se. And then when I wake up, I guess because I didn't dreamt in it, I didn't dwelled in it, I get a better understanding. And then I'll like um, Google, but I'll be very careful about what I Google. But I'll Google some things just to make it make sense. And so uh, like the book of, it wasn't the book. I didn't read the whole book. It was a Bible verse. Um, but it was when Jesus went into the city. I forgot which city. And he was giving blessings to the Jews. And then I believe she was a she was a Gentile or a Moabite, if I'm pronouncing it correctly. I'm sorry when I'm looking down. Yeah, I look up down when I'm trying to think. But she was, I think, a Moabite. And she, her child was possessed. Maybe not possessed. But her child was dealing with some things. And she tried so many things to, like, get her child healed. And it wasn't working. So she went to Jesus to get a blessing. And so Jesus was like, um, his blessings are for his peoples. And so she was like, well, can she get the crumbs of the blessings? Like, you know, can she get the crumbs of the bread that he was blessing his people? And so because of that, because she was, you know, so determined and, you know, she was willing to put pretty much everything that she believed to the side and put her trust and faith in Jesus to heal her child. He gave her the blessing. I got to find out what that verse is. When I find out what it is, I'm going to put it right here i'm gonna look i'm gonna look it up but girl i didn't got distracted why why i say that verse i talk so much hold on let me watch this so i can see what i'm talking about Ooh. see that's why i said i'm tired y'all but hold on one second. yeah i had to play it back to see where i was going with it but uh and i'm blinking a lot i just looked back sorry y'all and i gotta stop messing with my hair okay so but yeah um when i heard the sermon I was confused about why Jesus didn't want to at first give her the blessing. Then when I looked it up, trying to understand it, that's when I saw that I had to be very particular about what I Googled though, because I didn't want to Google too much because you know, <laughs> y'all know so many opinions on the internet. But um, yeah, I Googled it and that's when I found out that because she was a different religion, she was diff she was from a different background. That is why Jesus was a little bit apprehensive at first about giving her the blessing. Well, her child the blessing. Giving her the blessing, you know, because it's her child, but giving her child the blessing. Um, so, yeah, that's what I have to do sometimes. I have to Google it. I have to uh, bask in it. Um, yeah, but I, I really liked that, that, that whole verse chapters i really liked that segment of the bible um but yeah i read the book of joel and it seems to be more about a book of repentance 
Um, recognizing now that you sin, but you can always come up from your sin. Kind of like the song, We Fall Down But We Get Up by Donnie McClurkin. Uh, that's like one of my favorite songs. I love Donnie McClurkin. CC Wine is a lot of animals. Okay, but get back. <laughs> um, it's kind of like that. It's like repent, you know, repent. Um, I, I do like, I liked it. And it wasn't that long. Um, at first when I was reading it, I was like, okay, this is like a war cry song. And the, you need like deliverance. And I, I don't know. I really like that. I really like that because we're all human. We all are going to sin. But it's very important for us to understand that in the midst of, whatever we're going through, we can always call on God to help us. No matter how far you fall down, you can always call on God to help bring you up. The thing is though, you have to learn from your mistake. It's a process. It's definitely um, something that I feel like we all are working on because we are human, but you know, we just try to be the best human that we can be. And that's why I like to read the Bible for myself to get my own understanding because a person can preach it to me. Like when I, in reading the Bible, I look into it. Um, like I have to Google some words. I may not pronounce it right, but I know <laughs> pretty much the background of what's going on. But I um, I just like to get a deeper understanding. And that's how I was in college too. Like you could tell me something, but my mind starts, as you can see with my conversations too, I start to, you know, want to know more and more and more about it. And sometimes that works with college anyway. Sometimes that works to my, not my benefit, because I should be studying one thing, but I end up studying a whole lot of stuff. And it works out better too, because overall I learned so much more before the test. Child, you only need to know this. You only need to know all that. You do not need to know all that. But yeah, that's my little talk today. So the book of Joel is what I read. If y'all read it, let me know in the comment section, please, of what y'all thoughts are about it, what y'all think about it. I really and truly enjoyed it. And I was thinking maybe like we could start some like thing where we can maybe in the comment section or in a community page, we can just put down some Bible verses that really spoke to us, that really helped us out. And we can put the verses and what it meant to us and other people can read it and understand it. Because like I said, I am a person to where I will read it. But I really need to dive deep into it to really understand it. And I know for sure, <clears throat> excuse me, that story that I told y'all about Jesus going into the town and wanting to give his people the blessing. And there was a little apprehensive about giving the woman a blessing or her child a blessing, but then he did. And I had to uh, talk to my mom, talk to my sister, Google it, just try to find some more information because just reading it, I was kind of like, hmm, don't Jesus give blessings to everybody? So it helped a lot. So if that's something that y'all are interested in, I would greatly appreciate it. I'm pretty sure other people would greatly appreciate it, whether they type in the comments or not. I know they would appreciate uh, just getting a better understanding um, of the Bible, especially from other people's interpretation. So I do like that. But I do encourage y'all to read the Bible for yourself first and get your own understanding and then other people's input can help you but also I want to say be very selective about what you what you are reading and mentally digesting that's what I'm gonna say uh because y'all know how the internet is child so you gotta make sure it's not a what they call it a sheep in wolf's clothing I think I'm rambling I'm rambling I'm rambling, but I would love that though. I would love for us to start something positive in like the community section where we could just talk and be free and just give our own little um, thoughts about the Bible. Yeah, I think that would be so helpful. All right, so I am still waiting for my coffee to kick in. I really don't want to take a nap. The house is quiet, the pups are asleep. They went outside, just did business. They ran around and played. Um, they usually go outside. This is the funny thing. Inside, they are so calm. They have their little moments where they play. But inside, they are so calm. And outside, they turn into whole different dogs. They are smell. I think it's the overstimulation. They are smelling stuff, running around, barking. They are <laughs> completely different, which is so funny to me. Like, it, it's so funny. It's like night and day. They are so funny. Uh, but right now, they're sleeping. The house is quiet. So what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna walk on my treadmill for a bit. It has been getting 
sunnier later. The sun has been coming out a little later, so I know daylight saving time is about to start or end soon. Whatever it is when the time change, it's about to um, do that really soon. I know that because I noticed that in the morning, the sun has been coming out a little later. So I didn't want to walk outside today, but I do need to be active some kind of way today. I don't really feel like working out. I don't. So what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just get on my treadmill. I have my little Apple Watch to like keep track of my steps. But yeah, I don't really feel like going out. And to help me keep motivated on the treadmill, I'll usually like listen to some music or I'll watch like a fun series. <gasps> one on one and half and half is about to be removed from Netflix. Oh my gosh, those are my jams, especially the fall. Like I don't know, something about half and half. Gilmore Girls. Pretty Little Lies, but the first couple of seasons, not the last season, maybe the last two seasons. Those were not good to me. But like something about those little videos, those movies, well, Pretty Little Lies, I think I pretty much kind of grew out of. It's more like a teenage series thing. But anyway, <laughs> those things I usually like to watch in the fall because they give like fall vibes, like the way they dress, coffee, it's like cool weather, like, um, and they're about to remove it. And one-on-one -on -one is just super funny. It's just like one of those things. I could watch one-on-one, -on -one, The Parkers and Girlfriend and Living Single. Oh my gosh, those are my jams. That's what I'm gonna watch. I'm gonna watch Living Single. But those four, those are like my top four series to watch and like guarantee, guarantee to laugh and not a smile left like a ha 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 laugh. So I'm kind of disappointed that one-on-one -on -one and half and half is about to be removed from Netflix. Hopefully, Somebody else pick them up because those are my shows. Girlfriends, The Parkers, One on One, Half and Half. I'm pretty sure there's more, but those are the, like the top ones. All right, y'all. So, what time is it? It's 8:30. Let me go get on this treadmill. It's gonna probably be from maybe two episodes. I'm not gonna push myself neither. I'm probably gonna be walking at the number one. Um, I might speed it up a little bit and walk to like maybe two. That's more like brisk walking. I don't know, I'm not trying to cop a sweat, but at the same time, I'm trying to get my heartbeat racing. Oh, let me show y'all what I'm wearing. I'm just sitting at the bar, y'all, talking to y'all. But this is what I changed into. A very simple black shirt, black pants, you know what I mean? <laughs> And I gotta clean up too. So I gotta make sure that, um, I'm gonna have this robe on so I get on the treadmill and let me take it off. But I do need to clean up today. Child, hold on one second. Don't be in noise. All right. I don't know. That's when you be home by yourself and you hear noise. I know I heard a noise though, but. That's birds. That's eighth. That's the fridge. That probably was the wash machine I heard because, um, I don't know. Yeah, the birds. That probably was the wash machine. I do have the wash machine on. Oh, yeah, like my hair. My daughter did my hair. I think it's so cute. <laughs> They're the sweetest. But yeah, let me get up. I know if I get in my bed, I'm gonna go to sleep. And I don't wanna go to sleep. All right. I need to get up. <laughs> I need to get up and get active. All right, so I have my desktop in my office. So I'm just about to put it. I think once I put the TV on, I'm gonna wanna move around because see it's so quiet when the house is quiet like this is so easy for me to take a nap and a dog are asleep too i don't know when i see somebody sleeping i just want to go to sleep too especially like one of the kids i've just be wanting to snuggle up with the little ones all right y'all that's enough talking i've been it's been four minutes now let me get up and get on this treadmill at least walk and then by the time i'm done walking at least i'll be like okay i got walking done the sun should have come out more and i could open up the blinds and all, and I do need to clean. 
my coffee is not doing anything for me. Maybe I should brew another cup of coffee. Technically, it was only eight ounces. <laughs> yeah, when I have coffee, I'll be good. When I have coffee, though, I go in. I have coffee. Oh, I shook the camera. I'm sorry. But that's it, though. And I'm going to use the same pot. Y'all know how I told y'all. I use the same pot when I brew it so it don't be as strong. Um... It's so easy to be active and run around when the kids are here, but when when they're not here, ooh, it'd be the struggle. And like I said, it's cool, and it's, like, kind of gloomy outside. I think it might rain. I don't want to go outside. I just got to start. Y'all got to get out this seat. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Come on. It's going to be a good day, though, because I want to clean up. Film a short because I have this cute idea for a short. My kids, as y'all can see from yesterday's video, I saw my daughter when I was editing it. She was jumping in the background. <laughs> they didn't want to be in the videos, so I don't mind letting them be in the video from time to time. But um, I do want to do this short with my daughter. I have a fun idea, uh, and I think she's going to like it. Um, so let me get up and get active. I do want to clean up. I'm going to make my smothered okra, do this short with my daughter. That's going to be later on. I do want to clean up before they get home, though. I want to mop before they come home. Ooh, y'all know how the house smell when you mop? After you mop? Oh, the house be a vibe. Also, that Mrs. Myers apple cider hand soap. Uh, so I am a big fan of the Dove sensitive soap bar that's my jam for everything i wash my face with it, i wash my body with it that's my go-to soap bar not the liquid soap the soap bar and i got i put the mrs meyers apple cider hand soap next to it because i use both like interchangeably because if i use too much of the mrs meyers i got eczema skin chat it will dry out my husband i saw the container was going down a lot and i'm like why is it going down because i had it on my side in the bathroom Child, he then took the whole bottle, poured it in his bottle. And you know how, like, you buy the hand uh, soap pumps? He took the soap out of the Mrs. Myers bottle, put it in his hand soap glass bottle. The nerve. Like, why? Yeah. Why would he just... Why wouldn't he just go to my side, maybe put some in his hair and wash his hands? Child, he took the container, poured the soap in his glass jar, and put the empty container on my side. I'm like, the nerd. So that lets you know that the apple cider, if you haven't tried it, if you haven't gone in Target and smelt, smelt it, try it out because child is man and took it. Now, he didn't do none of that with the mum, which I actually like. I guess because it's maybe too florally for him. And he did not do that with the... The acorn, I ain't like the acorn either. I get it to the kids. They don't be caring, child. They be washing their hands. They don't care. As long as they got some liquid hand soap, child, if they ain't planning. But, yeah. Was that the only three smells since I got? I think so. But, yeah. Um, yeah, he took that, y'all. So, hmm. I guess I'll just be using my little dove soap. Because I'm not about to go wear on his side just to get some hand soap when I have a bar right there, but men, men like the smell too. <laughs> All right, y'all, let me get up. Let me brew this coffee and get up. I know once I put it on though and start laughing, I'm gonna be in the zone. I'm not even gonna be thinking about it. Like, but I need to get up, y'all. It's been nine minutes. Procrastinate, let me go. All right, y'all, I'm going, I'm going. Who else use a random piece of magnet <laughs> when you lose the key to your treadmill? <laughs> but hey, we got to do what we got to do to get these results, okay? As long as we when act. I got that, I brew a coffee. <laughs> Let me add the uh, cream and all. I'm still not in the mood, but I'm going to do it. I'm not in the mood, but I'm going to do it. That's the discipline for you. All right, let me jazz up this coffee, and I'm going back. I'm going back in, but I need my coffee, y'all.
And of course, give them the little puppuccino. This isn't procrastination at its finest, yo. It is 9.23, I gotta get it together. Oh, come on, Tuesday, let's get our life together. I'll be rolling on the Monday, but Tuesday, why am I on the struggle bus? I think that is all of the welcome to the trend I'm gonna do for now because y'all <laughs> I am the biggest procrastinator. It is 10 10 10 11. It just switched to 10 11 and I really 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 want to get a clean house. I was thinking about actually going to get my nails done too. That ain't gonna happen today. No man. Uh, maybe tomorrow, because honestly, I'd rather have a clean house than um, a dirty house with my nails done. I'd rather have a clean house with my nails not done. So I'm just opening up the blinds to let in some sunlight. And I'm about to start cleaning up. And then I'll just complete the 30 minutes of walking later. But yeah, I got to get it together because the kids is going to be here in no time. And I ain't make no progress. Um, I did want to start in my bedroom. I'm probably still going to start in there. But I'm not going to wash my bed covers. I'm going to sanitize the washing machine. Because the last items that I washed was the pups. Um, it was looking grainy. Let me get back towards the light. But the last thing I washed was the pups blankets. So, since that's the last thing I washed, I want to sanitize it. Because, you know, they have fur and stuff like that. So... I keep saying so. I gotta work on how I'm talking. When I need to talk, you know, proper and all that good stuff, I do. Hey, get out the tub. Get out, come on, get out the tub. This is why I gotta keep the bathroom doors closed. Come on, baby, you know better than that. But, uh, <laughs> with the pups, it's never boring, that's for sure. But, uh, yeah, I'm about to sanitize the tub, which is gonna take about maybe three hours. And then I'm gonna wash my bed, um, my bed covers. Well, I guess I'll give y'all a bed. I close the door, baby. You can't go in there. <laughs> you ready for a bed? I'm gonna get. I'll give you a bed today. Is it the right thing? I know y'all vets say we gotta wait at least three weeks. I told y'all I'd be talking to the dog. Um, I gotta see if it's been three weeks because I don't mind giving them a bed today. Actually, it's cool outside, so I have to give it to them tonight after their last walk. But yeah, I'm about to get some cleaning up done. And then, oh, I gotta make my okra. So, I could wait. I could wait to start on the okra till like 12 or one o'clock. Cause it's not gonna take that long. Cause I baked the okra to defrost it. And it's not gonna take long for um, the shrimps to defrost either. I got to do a grocery delivery again, though, because I don't think we have any sausage. And I can make it without sausage, but I would prefer to have sausage. Okay, I got my two cups of coffee in me. Um, I ate a little bit of eggs for breakfast. I'm trying to think if I want a snack before I clean. This is like, this is my lazy day and y'all can probably tell too. Um, it's cloudy outside. So I don't know, the weather affects my mood. Let me sit down right quick, y'all. Here go another chit chat, y'all. Here go another chit chat. A mom, this stay at home mom life. I, I just feel like I talk so much more now. <laughs> I talk so much more. That's how I be on the phone too. I have to like, Calm it down some, cause I be on the phone like this, so I be talking, talking, talking. But um, yeah, the weather affects my mood. I don't know. Does it do that to you too? Like if it's cloudy outside, I feel like I just be on the lounge and drag all day. I don't know. It like affects me. I don't know if it's because the lack or the decrease of the sun outside. But when it's like sunny, I'm ready to get up, go. Do this, do that, go everywhere, do everything. <laughs> I just have energy, and I know it becomes, I know it's from the, um, mellow. Ah, 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 ah. Come here. Ah, ah, ah. 
<laughs> I know the sun does naturally give you some energy, but I He keeps running by the door. So I'm trying to see if I need to take him outside real quick. What are you doing? Do we need to go outside? No, no. Do we need to go outside? Hold on, y'all. Let me take him outside real quick. All right. He laid down. I thought he had to go. Now nah, that'll get me up. <laughs> him to go outside, use the bathroom. He usually go at certain times, though, and this is really early, so. That's what I'm trying to see, but he started sniffing and walking around, so that was my cue to get up and bring him outside, but he laid down, so he's good. But yeah, the weather, it affects me. When it's sunny, I'm ready to get out and do everything and have such a good time, but when it's like cloudy, I have to fight really, really hard to get up and be productive and do stuff, even like stuff around the house. It's a little bit more challenging. That's why I like put on something in the background, even if it's like music or something to watch. Even if I'm not watching it, like I always put something on in the background uh, and it helps me stay alert and stay on track. But as y'all can see, I've been sitting down and talking most of this morning. And honestly, if I wasn't talking, um, I would more than likely be in my bed, lounging around, probably napping. So that's a good thing. I mean, I might not be super active, but at least I'm not sleeping, so that helps. Um, am I totally against taking a nap today? No, but no, let me watch him. It's early though, so I don't know. And I didn't give him extra water, so I'm trying to make sure he's okay. But yeah. Let me clean up. You know what? Today would have been a good day for like a Celsius or a Red Bull. And I've been trying to drink not really less Celsius because Celsius, I believe, is caffeinated by green tea. But the Red Bulls, I haven't had a Red Bull in actually uh, like months. I've been doing really good with no energy drinks. But I think that's what I might have to do. Drink like a Celsius on cloudy days. Look at my brain. Even I had to think about saying that. <laughs> But drink a Celsius on cloudy day and then like, you know, my regular smoke of days. Cause this coffee, I don't know. It's not, it's not giving me what I need. Uh-uh, get out of my room. Hold on y'all, the dogs, it's crazy. All right, I just didn't want her to go in my room cause I got stuff on the floor. I don't want her to get into it. Cause she is, they are good loungers. Like, and that's another thing too, our dogs, they be busy, but for the most part, they be lounging around and and it's perfect for our family, especially for me, because I like to lounge around too. Um, there's Ace drinking all out. <sighs> Maybe I need to put on a YouTube video with like somebody being productive and cleaning. I did need to do a grocery delivery though with some sausage and Celsius. I think I need to spend at least $35. It's only gonna be about twenty five dollars. So I need to, I, that's sad. I be having to spend at least thirty five dollars for delivery, and if it take too long, then I spend an extra ten dollars. <laughs> Y'all, we spend so much money on delivery; it's ridiculous. Like, and I'm not saying me and my family. I'm saying people in general. Like, between what is it? They got the Uber Eats, Walmart delivery. Uh, Instacart, uh, all them delivery things, y'all. Like, that's crazy, right? That's crazy. But I ain't gonna lie, it'd be worth it though, because sometimes I don't be wanting to go out. I don't. Yeah, look at all the clutter in the background. <sighs> I really do need to clean. I just drank a coffee though, and I'm ready to lay down. I think I need to listen to my body. I'm fighting it, but maybe I need to take a nap. I drank coffee and it's not doing. Hey, what is that? Come here. What y'all got? What y'all got? Let me see. Come here. Come here, Stein. Come here, girl. Hey, what y'all got? Come here, please. I don't want to get up. What is that? 
No, we're not gonna take a nap. If anything, we'll just go to sleep. Early. I don't know, cause I do want to take a nap, but I don't want to be up cleaning and then cooking. I definitely don't want to be cooking while I'm tired. I don't like to cook when I'm tired and when I'm sleepy. Oh, it's getting later too, so if I'm gonna take a nap, I need to hurry up and think about it. That's what I might do. I think this is what I'm gonna do. I think I'm gonna take a nap. Cause I've been fighting it and And love is blind is not helping. I'm tired and love is blind is honestly not doing anything to wake me up or liven me up. And I don't know my Hulu password for my desktop. I really don't want to go to sleep, but honestly, I need to listen to my butt. Oh, don't give in, Kiana. This is a shame. This is a shame. I'm gonna listen to my butt. After dwelling on it for, I don't know how long it's been. It's 10, 20 close, so I don't know how long it's been. After dwelling, I exercise. I'm gonna take this nap. I'm just gonna shut out and take a long nap. So it's gonna be about an hour. Ah, 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 get off the sofa. And they need a nap too. So yeah, I think me and the pup's gonna take a nap. And then, yeah, they definitely need a nap. Uh-uh, they done lost it. I'm about to help them find it. I see y'all after my nap. You can't go to sleep? Hmm. I took this comforter off the bed so we could bring it to the cleaners to get washed. And they sleeping on it instead of sleeping on the sofa where they usually sleep in the lounge area. Even to see. I know y'all see that sock. Yeah, I'm gonna clean it up. I just need this nap. I need it. Ace be fighting it. Look at him. Look at his little eyes. Alright, y'all. Let's enjoy our naps. Look at stop. <laughs> she wastes no time. Ace, go to sleep, baby. Or well, maybe he gone on the sofa. He made it to the sofa. <laughs> All right, y'all. See y'all in a little bit. Hey, y'all. So we just getting up. I honestly took a quick little nap. Um, I didn't sleep much. I think the coffee had my brain awake, but yeah, <laughs> I kept thinking. So I just wasted like pretty much not wasted, but I just lounged around for like what an hour or two. So now I'm opening the blinds again to let in some um, light. But honestly, I'm looking outside, yeah. But honestly, I do feel a whole lot better. So that's good. Uh, I did drink some water too. So um, I do feel hydrated, even though I drank like all that coffee. And I was just lounging a bit, y'all, and I made a Pinterest account. <laughs> I don't know, I just feel like, you know, y'all are my friend. Ooh, girl, let me open up some more blinds because it's looking very ashy and pixely. But um, it's so gray outside, y'all. Like, I mean, cloudy outside. Well, that's gray too. Yeah, see, that's better. But um, I'm gonna create, well, I created a Pinterest account. And so my interest is going to be like, of course, homemaking, mom stuff, fashion, but not like high-end fashion, but like cute, comfy clothes. Um, to like, you know, wear inside and outside. Y'all gotta clean up y'all see the background. But um, yeah, and like home organization, a little aesthetically pleasing type of situation. So that's what I think, well, that's my interest. So that's what I wanna add to the um, Pinterest. I don't know, it's gonna be fun, y'all. So I got a little lint. I'm gonna add it to the description in the description. I'm gonna add the link to Pinterest in the description box. Um, and I think that'd be fun, something that we can share, like our ideas. If y'all have a Pinterest account, let me know in the comment section, please, so I can look at, see what y'all got going on. You know, y'all might have some good interest. Y'all can tell I just woke up. I look like I just woke up, but honestly, I only slept like a little bit and I lounged, but look at them out the window. 
Let me show y'all. Look at her. Always out this window. Star, what are you doing? <laughs> Uh, 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 uh. Ooh, let me take them outside, y'all. They just woke up, and y'all already know what time it is whenever they wake up. So I'm gonna take them outside real quick. All right, y'all. We are back inside. They are nice and clean. Um, I don't have a water on my nightstand, so let me go get a water. Um, that was actually a nice, refreshing little walk. Um, now I know why. Well, I know why people take walks outside because it is nice and refreshing. But it was, it was nice. It was cloudy. But it was pretty warm outside, so you had a nice little breeze. Heard the birds chirping. It was nice. It was really good. They used the bathroom, number one and number two, which is always perfect. So I have to worry about them doing number two in the house. Um, but yeah, it was so nice. I am going to get a fanny pack. I don't know why I didn't, didn't think of this. Well, usually I have pockets, but I'm going to start having a little fanny pack because right now I don't have pockets and I can just take it, put it on, and put their little poop bags my phone, everything else that I need while I walk them, I could take that and um, just put it on. I'll just keep it packed with stuff. Or I might just get more than one. So I have a fanny pack for when I walk the dogs and then a fanny pack on if I ever walk like a trail or something like that. But that was refreshing. That was really good. So I think I'm going to... What, baby? I can give you a bowl of water. Did you finish it? I don't want you peeing everywhere. Let me see. But, yeah, I think that is actually what I... Yeah, you still got water, baby. I'm going to um, open up the windows, play some music, and I got to start on dinner. So I'm going to take those chicken wings out. I'm going to bake some chicken wings. Let's get it on the mount. Let's mount it up. All right. Yeah, I went outside just like this. I need to wash my house with this because I didn't even realize I was rushing. That I went walking. It was just up and down the street, but I went walking in my house with this. So I have to toss those in the washing machine. So yeah, first I'm gonna wash my bed covers though, and then I'm gonna wash those house slippers because I just sanitized that uh wash machine. Well actually, no, I didn't. <laughs> Let me see. Ooh, these Clorox wipes and drinking water next to it. Let me start sanitizing the washing machine. And what I do is super simple. It's kind of dusty in there, but I'm going to show y'all what I do to sanitize it. I know I got I to gotta clean it. I got to clean it outside. I ain't do that yet. I told y'all. When I sanitize it, that's usually when I wipe it down really good. But anyway, um, I just open it. I usually have some baking soda right here. Uh, I don't measure it. I'm pretty sure there's more detailed directions on um, Google, but I just, ooh, hold on y'all, I can't do it with one hand. All right, so I just open it and I just sprinkle some baking powder in. That might be too much. Uh, I think it's supposed to be like a cup or two. I don't know, but I just, I just, yeah. I'm a mess, but you can get the right directions when you Google it. See, I gotta clean all this too. This is the bleach part. I gotta get like a nice, maybe it's rust. I might get some uh, CLR to get that off. But I just put that in, then I close it, and I start it up. Yeah, look how dusty it is. It's all right, though. It's going to get wiped down. It gets clean. It gets clean. Just, it hasn't been cleaned in a while, <laughs> like a month. So, um, what do I do? Okay, so I start it up, and then I just do this one right here. It says tub clean. So, and it takes forever. It takes, like, yeah, two and a half hours, probably three. I just press, uh, I just hold it to start. And I run it with the baking soda. Then I go again and I run it with the vinegar just to like, you know, get the rest the rest of the baking soda off. And then once the vinegar is in it, I'll um, take a rag. Ooh. Hold on one second, let me pause it. So what I'll do is I'll take a rag with some vinegar and I'll wipe down the drum. Cause sometimes the drum will have some baking powder on it. Sometimes this will have the baking soda, baking soda, excuse me y'all, cause I know there's two different things. But sometimes the drum will have a little pieces of baking soda on it, or it'll be ashy and that's just be the, that's just the baking soda. So I'll take um, some vinegar on a rag, wipe it to get that baking soda down, and then I'll rinse that off and then I'll, then I'll just wipe the outside of it. Yeah, so 
this is all gonna be clean and the same thing with the dryer for the dryer i have this little thing that i brought off amazon i brought this thing off amazon uh this is what i couldn't get it clean all the way but it does what it's supposed to do i put this through the lint trap i can show y'all let me turn the light on too. that's the little blanket y'all <laughs> ouch okay so and then this little well i removed this the lint thingy clean that out really really good wipe it down with like a damp cloth and then in here i'll just take this and just slide it through and it helps get some of the lint up i know they got lint in there but it helps get the lint up and then for the parts that i can't get like when i want to go like because it the hold is this way and you see how it curves up. So I'll take this blue thing and I'll attach it to the vacuum cleaner. And then I'll stick it in there and it helps suck out all that lint. And then I'll wipe down the dryer. And that's just pretty much how I do the maintenance for um, my washing my dryer. Now I do sometimes get the, um, what is it called? A fern and I'll just drop that in here. But I don't think I have any. I have some for the wash machine, but I don't have anything from here. And the wash machine, I do pretty much the same thing. So to descale the washing machine, I would, the dishwasher, excuse me, I would just uh, add some vinegar. Let me add this in right now. I'm going to go, I, I do a routine. Like when I take stuff out, I clean the lint thing. So I'm not going to, I guess I can take this out right now, but I'll do it later. <laughs> but <laughs> uh, for the dishwasher, I would just, if I notice that the dishes, like especially the glasses are a little cloudy i'll just add some vinegar in it to descale it but when i do my deep deep cleaning i'll add the affirm tablet to the dishwasher and if i don't have the affirm tablets then i'll just use some baking soda to scrub it really really good i go a damp microfiber cloth to scrub i have this little thing too that i love it can go you pull it out see like right here you will pull it out well you push it in excuse me sorry and then it stays like that and i just take the hangers and put them right there perfect and then when you want it like flat i'll do it like that and then i'll just lean it against the wall until i need to use it again and it dries like within a day it really doesn't take long and then i have these parts too i usually don't use these parts but if i need extra storage but this thing is so handy dishwasher these dishes are clean i gotta put them up but um i'll just take like a damp wet rag with some water um use a little baking soda and i'll just wipe it down the walls and i'll take these rags out and wipe it down and i'll take a bowl of vinegar sometimes honestly i just splash it in there and it just bubbles up just to be lazy but <laughs> and i'll start it up on the highest the hottest and longest cycle and then that usually cleans if i don't have the firm and i read somewhere too that you can use lemon juice i think it's pretty much anything acidic you can use i'm just taking out this old ground like the bacon all these shrimp i'll be fasting I really wish I had some sausage. I don't, but ooh, my face. I don't have any sausage and the show must go on because we gotta eat. So, oh, and I gotta get the chicken. Let me get the chicken. I'm gonna bake some chicken wings. I have, I don't know if it's chicken, what I have? Chicken legs or chicken breast? Our chicken thighs. Oh, it's too late to be trying to defrost some chicken thighs. I could have did this with some chicken thighs. That would have been a vibe. That would have been so good. Some chicken thighs baked with some smothered okra. Oh, my gosh. I'm so mad. <laughs> that would have been such a vibe. That would have been so good. Oh, my gosh. Girl, it is 2 o'clock. There is no way. Oh, my gosh. There's no way that I'm gonna defrost chicken thighs in four hours. But I, girl, this is a mess. I could order some chicken thighs to and they'll already be defrosted. I think that's what I'm gonna do too. I think I'm going to order some, some more. 
they'll already be defrosted because there is no way all right the shrimps in the zinc defrosting um yeah i'm about to do that so wait you know what let me check my husband's office he said he had a celsius waiting for me i know i know coffee and celsius i know i know i know but let me see yeah, that we meant this little packet but look you know what it helped me out last time so i'm gonna add this with my water mm and I'm gonna order some chicken thighs and probably contain this Celsius. I gotta look this way, y'all, yeah, I'm remembering. I'm gonna order some chicken thighs, a pack of Celsius. What are y'all chewing on? Puppies are just like kids, okay? Just like kids. Oh my gosh, the responsibilities, they're like little babies. No, this is not chores. They're like little babies that never grow up. <laughs> <laughs> like they get older they get bigger but they're still little babies at heart like they they get into so much you have to watch them so close well my pups anyway you gotta watch them because they will quickly and easily get into anything and i wanted like a little kitten i gotta wipe that wall down but i wanted a little kitten i heard that kittens are more independent i don't know because some of the videos i've been seeing the kittens they are just the cutest little babies they are just like babies too they like attention and all that jazz. But y'all like little puppies. Not little puppies, because our dogs are like, I call them puppies, but they're like two years old. And I still have to watch their every little move and give them so much attention and love. Like little kids that never go. Oh, never go. And they get so jealous. I was just pen Ace and here comes Star. What is my love? What is my pet? And come on, girl, now. You got to be. Sharing the attention. Don't be stingy with the attention, mama. <sighs> mm. I have their leashes on them right now because they're going to be going outside in a little bit. And I will lose it. <laughs> I, I have a place to put their leashes, but um, between washing their paws and their face and their little bum. Look, they out the window. They are hilarious. But between washing all that... If I take the leash off, I will, I, I'm not even gonna lie, I will lose it. I will lose it and I will not put it where it belongs. It's it's so sad. The kids too. Look at me trying to throw them in the mix. But we all, we just, it's a mess. It's a mess. So I'm gonna just leave it on them since they still have to go back out not so long ago. I just took them out early. And they did what they had to do, so I'm happy, I'm happy I did take them out early. No messes. Uh-uh. We don't want no accidents, huh? No accidents. They're really much, they're pretty much trained for the most part. They just, you know, like I said, they're like kids. They're like little kids. They're like toddlers. That's the best description. Not kids. They're like toddlers. You always got to check on them. Check and see what they're doing. They'll lounge around and chill and give you some down, downtime. But our pups, oh, you got to check on them. They'll be chewing on somebody's stuffed animal. I guess they'd be confusing it with theirs. They'll be chewing on stuffed animal. Child, they'll be laying in your bed. Like, ah, get out of my bed. <laughs> you have your own bed. And I even let you get on the sofa. Get out my bed. Uh-uh. I'm still looking the wrong way. I'm sorry, I'm gonna be saying it all throughout the video. I gotta focus. It'd be, cause you see this red square and you wanna look at the, why well, I wanna look at the red square. But I need to start looking away from the red square. square. <laughs> That's a <their> little leash slot. <laughs> all right. I'm trying to think of what I'm going to do next. I'm going to enjoy this Celsius and let it get me going. I don't know. I don't have a bad reaction to Celsius, I guess, because I don't usually down the can. I'll drink like half the can. <laughs> I got to get this together. I'm talking to myself, y'all. I got to get this together. I got to. But anyway, I went down the can of Celsius. I'll drink like half and then I'll leave like half later. And so maybe that 
is what because I've heard some people get like jitters from energy drinks and Celsius. Um, I don't know, I don't get that. I sip it a little bit, I do what I need to do, kind of like coffee. I'll drink like an eight ounce cup and then I like put water and cream in it, but I don't drink like a big thing of coffee, so maybe that's why it doesn't like get to me. And for the most part, I don't even get anything strong like what they got like shots espresso and stuff like that i do get an apple macchiato i don't know if that's like stronger um that's only when i go to starbucks and it's only around the fall any other time if we go to starbucks i'm gonna get like a pink drink a little caffeine in it but not like the espressos and the shots and i'll get um caramel ribbon crunch i don't think that one is crazy high either i think it's like the shots the espressos the other ones. I don't know. I don't. I don't know too much about coffee, y'all. I be talking like I know, but I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> All right, it's two o'clock. I'm gonna ask my husband if he want me to do a delivery, or if he wants to pick up. We need chicken thighs, sausage. And then I really don't feel like cutting up no vegetables. So probably that little vegetable mix because I don't have any. The ones with the green onions, yellow onions, white onions, bell peppers. Y'all know all that good stuff. The one I like to get. So, yeah. And I need to clean up. So I definitely need this. I want to clean up so bad. I know I just need to start. I'm probably going to open up the windows. I just need to start. And I'm going to clean up with the Mrs. Myers uh, scent because I noticed that when I have music playing, when I have the windows open, you know, that fresh air circulating with the ceiling fans on, and I have a good scented cleaner. Like, don't get me wrong. I love Clorox. I love Lysol. But if I get, like, a good scented cleaner, it does create a vibe, and it does make you want to clean. Yeah, I'm just in the funk. A lazy phone and I got nothing but time I'm just I don't know and and life get like that sometimes I don't want to be too hard on myself like you got to clean up you got to clean up you got to clean up life get like that sometimes sometimes you just don't want to do something even though you know you're supposed to do it But I ain't gonna lie, once the kids get here, I be, I don't know, like, what it is, but when the kids come home, oh, that energy is just natural energy. I just be ready. The kids come home, whether my husband picks them up or I pick them up, and, oh, uh, I don't know. Something about the kids just give me, like, natural energy that I'm like, hey, how was your day at school? How are you doing? You know, what did y'all learn today? What did y'all do today? Oh, really? All right, let's... Let's get in the drill. Okay, let's do homework. Let's get ready for showers. We're about to bake our... Now I got the games. Play a game. Watch a movie. Somebody got to pick out the movie. Let's vote on the movie. Or we'll sometimes do, like, during the week. Um, They'll pick. Everybody will have their own movie, Who they what they pick, and then we'll watch that or something like that. Like, I don't know. I just be in a whole different zone. Kind of like when the dogs are inside, they mostly sleep, like, now. But when they're outside, they lit. They sniffing. They barking. They running around. They, they acting like dogs instead of, like, little lounge dogs right now but that's how i am like when i'm i'm just lounging slow but when the kids come home oh they're a whole different person i am a entirely different person when the kids come home i don't know it's like they give me that natural energy i just took a minute to think about i know i'm talking to y'all like i'm recording it now with y'all in mind when y'all view the phone, when y'all view the footage. But I'm, I also thought about how I'm sitting here talking to a phone. <laughs> I'm sitting here talking to a phone going off, but I don't imagine me talking to a phone. I don't view me talking to a phone. I view me talking to y'all when y'all view this video. And I just got to start. We've been listening to this song because lately I've been in like my classical music era. And this song called, I have no idea what it's called. I'm going to find it. But it gives me vibe of like Bridgerton. Hey y'all, so the Oprah has defrosted quite a bit. I left it on the counter. I forgot. It's still frozen, but it's kind of defrosted. 
Um, the kids are home and I drank a Celsius, so the energy is at an all time high. So I'm about to put this in this glass baking dish. I don't know why I love the glass ones better than the uh, metal ones. Well, cause they're rough. The metal ones rust. <laughs> so I'm gonna put this in here with some seasoning and some olive oil. Stir it up, put it in the oven. It's at 350 and honestly, I don't know what time I take it out. Um, I just check on it and stir it. And if it's defrosted, then I just take it out. Y'all see that skillet from breakfast? I'm gonna get it all together though. I'm cleaning up too. So we're gonna be cooking and cleaning and vibing to some music. Nice and All right, so you can kind of see how ashy it is. That's just some of that baking soda residue. Like, let me see, I got some vinegar right here. I could probably pull it in the chest, see what I mean? I can't open nothing with one hand. So, I'll show y'all. See the difference now? Yeah, you could definitely see the difference now. So I'm just gonna go in and I'm gonna just Wipe it. Just to get that build up off. The bottom is not really that bad, but I'm gonna wipe it in. Let me just pour it in. <laughs> Alright, and then I'm gonna do the oh well, that came off really easy. And then I'm gonna do the same thing. The sanitize. So I guess I'll wash my bed covers for the night while we doing our movie thing. All right, and I can just wipe this. It's gonna be better once I'm done. All right, the kiddos are calling me, so I'm just about to do the same thing, power it on, and then tub clean. I'll come back later um, to wipe it down because the kiddos need it. Everybody's home. I didn't finish the okra yet. We ate the rest of the white beans. That's the song I was telling y'all about. It's a vibe. Let me turn it off before I get copyrighted. All right, yeah, but this is how it's looking. We ate leftovers. Um, the kids completed their homework and showered. This is the mess I'm left with. Y'all got another cup of coffee. Don't don't judge me, y'all. It's been that type of day. Don't judge me. But yeah, I'm still in the middle of cleaning up. All right, so I'm watching Living Single. I gotta watch something. <laughs> I have the music playing too, and I'm watching this. I just paused it because the music was playing, but. I'm watching them sing them. Got this part clean. I repositioned the sofa, um, the pillows, excuse me. And yeah, that's a snore. <laughs> Why he always making noise when I'm recording? This is the funniest little dog. Uh, but yeah, I swept the floors. I'm going to mop when the kids go to sleep. Um, I said it like that because they be walking around, y'all. Like, I just don't want nobody to fall or nothing like that. But yeah, so I wiped it down. Got it looking pretty nice and festive up in here. So, since I'm going to be mopping while they're sleeping, I'm going to move into the dining area. Y'all, this table is dusty. This is the dining area right now. It is, look at y'all. Let me see if y'all can see that. Can y'all see that? I don't know if y'all can see that. I mean, I guess it's not that bad, but... Oh yeah, oh yeah. So, <laughs> let me wipe this up. We don't really use this area besides like for special occasions. And when we sung birthday, we sung happy birthday. Excuse me. When we sung happy birthday, we sung it at the glass table and the other places where she had her birthday party at. So I'm gonna clean this up right quick. This part I'm gonna mop right now because it just needs to be mopped. So I'm gonna work on that right now.
y'all. So I'm in the bed. It is after 10 o'clock. It's time to settle down. You can probably hear the lullabies in the background that is for the little kids. <laughs> uh, we They just went to sleep not too long ago. Um, we had a fun night tonight. Uh, they ate dinner. We actually ate leftovers from yesterday. So we ate the white beans. I did make the um, shrimp okra. Shrimp okra. Smothered okra. And I made it with just shrimp. So I used extra shrimps because I didn't have any sausage. But um, I'm just going to let that cool. Put it in a container. And then put it in the fridge for tomorrow. And then I'm going to just make some salmon. I don't know if I want to saute the salmon. Grill it or bake it. But that's what we're going to eat with it. But yeah. Um, I bounced back really well today. I did do some cleaning. I cleaned up the living room. And I mopped. Um, I cleaned the dining room and I mopped and I cleaned the foyer and I mopped. So that was really good. I'm happy that I some kind of way bounced back. When I mopped, I did use the Mrs. Myers uh <laughs> dishwasher liquid. I did mop with that because um I just didn't want to use the Lysol or anything strong, any chemicals, because at first I was like, I'm just gonna mop when the kids go to sleep. But that mean I would have went to, I would have mopped, like, I would have been mopping now. And it's late. And I already went to sleep late yesterday. And it was hard for me to, like, get in my groove of things that I needed to do. So I just ended up mopping um, while they was in the shower. And I had the ceiling fans on. So that way it was dry by the time they um, got out of the shower. But, yeah, we had a fabulous night tonight. Um, and I love this type of weather, too, because this is a time where, you know, we usually start making like our stews, soups, gumbos, all that jazz. I do want to buy a new pot set, preferably two, one um, stainless steel and one nonstick. So I'm going to look into which one I want and I'm going to get some more pots because, yeah, I've been using Mitch Match pots. Like I have pots from this set, that set. I don't know what's going on with the pots, but I need to get some a new pot set. Um, I don't know how you lose pots. I don't know. I don't know, but they Mitch Match. <laughs> So, I do want to get some new pots. If y'all know a brand that is good, let me know in the comment section. But, yeah, I'm super excited about that. I'm super excited about getting a new pot set. And then my Mitch Match pots, I'll just donate them, child. But uh, I'll clean them, of course, and then donate them. But, yeah, I just want a good stainless steel and nonstick. I love cooking with stainless steel, but some things is just easier to clean and better with nonstick, um, like eggs and... Especially if you want to saute something I like searing, I like stainless steel. Stews and all, I like stainless steel. Um, to make a roux, <laughs> I like nonstick. I do not like making a roux in stainless steel. Like, y'all, it is the most challenging thing for me to make a roux in stainless steel. So, but uh, yeah, and I want to get some new baking sheets too. Um, there's this brand, I think it's like Winston. Uh, so I'm not getting from Walmart, y'all. But it's like three pans, three different sizes. This is a large, medium, and small for like 15 bucks. So I might get like two of those just to get into my little era, my little vibe. And to, you know, just doing more homemade meals. I do love to cook homemade meals. I do get fast food sometimes, but I do like to make homemade. And I think that's that'll be a good addition to my little vlogs. Uh, I could just show y'all what we eat that night. Or like today, child, if I make it in advance and we just eat it the next day. <laughs> So, yeah, I think that would be a good addition, though. And it might help. You know, you might be like, what am I going to make today? And you're like, oh, yeah, I can make this because I got this right in my freezer, right in my fridge. Let me throw this together. You know, are some other ideas? Yeah. And let me know, too, if y'all come up with anything. Like, what y'all eating tonight? What are y'all eating? Let me know in the comment section because that way I can probably put it on my little meal prep, meal planning thing, you know, to make it easier. This week, though, it's more like a freestyle. Um I don't have anything planned. Like, everything is as you go. Because Monday would have been a red beans and rice day. What was Monday? I forgot what Monday was. Tuesday would have been tacos. Tuesday was white beans. No. Yeah, today's Tuesday, huh? <laughs> Girl, I don't even know what day is. So, Monday was white beans. It would have been red beans and rice. Tuesday would have been tacos. It was leftover red be white beans. Excuse me. Oh, okay. Let's start over. Monday would have been red beans and rice, but it was white beans and rice. Tuesday would have been 
tacos, but it was leftover white beans. Wednesday, which is tomorrow, it's going to be um, smothered okra with some salmon. If I can't get this done and get the salmon, then it's just going to be the uh, chicken thighs. I said that I was going to get my nails done tomorrow, but honestly, uh, I think tomorrow is going to be super busy because some of the kids after school activities got rescheduled and moved up. So I might not get my nails done. They're fine. They're not that bad. What do you mean? They're not that bad. I mean, it's a little blurry. It's trying to focus, but they're not that bad. Uh, look, you see, I got a little, what this is, a hangnail? Child, I don't know. But they usually grow really, really long. Like, my nails can easily get, like, right here if I don't, like, trim them down. So, I don't know. That's another thing, too. Like, I have press-ons, and I want to get some press-ons, but they knock off easy. But I really love acrylic, but I don't get them that often. And I've been seeing a lot of people on YouTube, they get acrylics and they look so so cute and I love that because especially like the little maintenance vlogs like I love that but um some of them be complaining about like the and the acrylics do make your nails thin because they make mine super thin so if y'all know anything that I could get besides acrylic let me know um I think there's gel but I think you have to use the acetone to get the gel off too Maybe I'm just removing them wrong, too, because I remove my own nails. I don't let the salon do it, because when I'm ready for them to come off, I take them off. <laughs> so maybe I'm just doing it wrong. Um, maybe I just need the nail shop to take off the acrylic for me. Maybe that's just my problem. I don't know, but if y'all have some safer alternatives for me to keep my nails, let me know, because I wouldn't mind going, like, maybe once a month to get my nails done if that's safe because i usually don't get my nails done like i said i'll just polish them myself that's another thing too um the store nail polishes i find they're not as good as they used to be i feel like when you used to put store nail polish on they will last you probably about a week before they start chipping and the nail polish that i get now it will i don't even want to see chip it takes forever to dry first of all so i guess you have to cue it cure it whatever it's called but that's if i'm getting regular nail polish just to put on my nails i want to put it on wait a couple of minutes let it air dry and be done i don't want to have to cure it like i'm I, I don't want to do all that i want the easy convenience of like old school nail polish so yeah that's like a bummer but yeah i'm trying to figure out what i can do because i do want my nails to look you know a little flashy a little done up i don't know well i do know i want them done but i don't know what's a safer alternative that's good for my nails also um i know there's another manicure that people have been getting but it's where the russian manicure i think it's when they cut the cuticles off that i'm not interested in i don't want my cuticles cut off it do i ain't gonna lie they do be looking nice <laughs> those manicures do be looking nice but i just i don't know I don't want my cuticles cut off. I keep trying to let y'all see it, and it just keeps being foggy. But you can kind of see. I don't know. I'd rather keep my cuticles. I don't want those cut. But I don't mind them being pushed, you know, back a little bit. I don't know, y'all. I don't know how I got on talking about nails. I came on here to tell y'all um, closing up shop, I guess I want to say, for the night. And I ain't got on to nails. I don't know, y'all. Y'all know I can talk. Y'all know I be rambling. Y'all know I just... We friends. We like this. So... I got to tell my little conversation to y'all, confide in y'all, talk to y'all, you know. <laughs> but yeah, so that is just it. Uh, the hubby's in his office just finishing up some work. And maybe he want to watch some tonight? I don't know, it's kind of late. So we'll see what he want to do because, you know, we got to fit in that quality time, that, you know, um, husband and wife time, you know. So yeah, I will see y'all tomorrow. I'm hoping tomorrow is a better day during the daytime than today was because today started well i take that back it started off as the struggle bus but it ended successfully um i just have to go in and sanitize like use my little clorox spray to disinfect the countertops but i washed all the dishes and i gotta put that okra up in a container and put it in the fridge once it cools but other than that the kitchen is clean i didn't mop it but like i said i'm gonna do that tomorrow um but I, I had a good i had a good end of the day i had a good day started off really slouchy but now that i think about it let's review what i did today um i was active i got on the treadmill i ain't work out but i got on the treadmill 
Um, I'm vlogging. Yay! So, <laughs> we did that. Um, I cooked. Spend time with the kids. Uh, I started a Pinterest account. So, yeah. Social media growing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, what else did I do? I cleaned up. I mean, it was later in the day, but I cleaned up. So, and I'm about to spend time with the hubby. Spend time with the kids. About to spend time with the hubby. So, I think all in all, it was a good day. You know, it's not how you start. It's how you finish. So, and I think I finished pretty well today. I'm going to try to do better tomorrow. But, you know, I ain't mad at it. I ain't hating. I ain't hating. Yeah. So, yeah, I will see y'all tomorrow. Good morning, y'all. It is Wednesday. Um, it's kind of chilly inside more than so outside. Outside is cloudy, um, but it's still pretty warm. So I got my little robe on. I'm about to make some oatmeal. Breakfast today, I got tired of eating eggs. The kids did too, so we had some oatmeal. It was an instant oatmeal. I'm about to make me some. Um, but I had a really good morning today. I'm back on the phone, y'all. So, <laughs> but I had a really good morning today, though. I woke up, um, cleaned my bathroom, sent to the kids, um, you know, as far as getting them ready for school and bringing them to school. And I cleaned my little girl's bathroom, cleaned in their bedrooms. Um, what else did I do? I took the trash out. <laughs> Helped help you out a little bit. I took the trash out. Um, what else did I do? Um, I don't know. But, I mean, it's a, it's a good Monday so far. I mean, Monday is Wednesday, child. But it's a good morning so yeah. far. Are y'all like that? Like, you feel tired? Like, you don't feel like doing anything? And then, all of a sudden, the kids come home. So, you just get this burst of energy. From out of nowhere, I don't know. That's how I am. I was feeling kind of like mm, drained. I think it's the best way to describe it. But as soon as they came home, um, I don't know if it was the Celsius packet or what. But I don't know. I was just ready to rock and roll and get everything together with the kids. I knew that the kids, like, they have to stay on the schedule. If they don't stay on the schedule, it's going to be, like, a disaster. Yeah, but I had a really good productive morning to... Um, for the rest of the morning since it's a cloudy day um i'm honestly just gonna have some intentional time with god i'm going to watch a church sermon on tv um and then i'm going to read my bible and then journal afterwards and if i take a nap i ain't mad in it because i know usually i have to take a nap when i read the bible because i got a bask in it so yeah yeah that is just my goal for this morning i know i got a crazy afternoon so yeah i'm just gonna spend some intentional time with god and probably do a little cleaning and whatever happens happens after that it's oh and i need to edit what i filmed yesterday um uh, because i started filming it but it was getting a little too late at night and i was just like i might just have to push it off till tomorrow so i am going to edit some footage i like to put butter in my oatmeal Y'all like to add butter to y'all oatmeal? I don't know. It adds a little something, something to it. Just tastes good. Well, they say everything tastes good with butter. <laughs> I think I'm going to just have water. I'm going to have oatmeal and water. I don't think I'm going to have a coffee. I've always come back and make a coffee. But for now, yeah, I need to drink some water too. I didn't drink any water yet today. So it's going to be oatmeal, water, and God. I'll see y'all in a little bit. All right, y'all, so I was gonna watch YouTube on my TV, but the internet is not working. But that ain't stopping nothing over here. So I'm just gonna watch it on my phone. And then um, after I'm done watching it on my phone and reading my Bible, I'm gonna come back and talk to y'all about it. Hey, y'all, so I just wanted to come on here um, and just ask y'all, cause I do this often and I wanted to know, am I the only one who do that? But um, before I, read my bible or listen to a sermon or even some gospel music honestly um well worship music i don't want to say gospel because i know there's different genres of worship music but do you pray over what the messages that you're about to listen to and receive 
I do that and I pray for understanding. For my understanding, I pray that I learn the right way and I pray that the person who is offering the information, I guess I want to say, or the lesson, they don't have malicious intent behind it. Not everybody has good intent behind their sermons. So I want to know, do y'all do that too? I pray before I receive the word that I'm receiving it correctly and it is in accordance to God's will and also that the person who is giving the sermon, they don't have like malicious intent. Um, and you know, it's just a good heart. That's why I say I like to read my Bible to get my own understanding, but I do listen to other sermons to kind of grasp it easier and hear it from another point of view. But yeah, so I'm about to go back in. Oh, and I'm watching um, T.D. Jake's newest sermon. Uh, I believe it's called Walk Me Through It. That is what I'm watching right now. But I just prayed over the sermon and I, I just decided to come on here and ask y'all that. So let me get back into it. Hey y'all, y'all not gonna believe what happened. I just woke up not too long ago. I was watching the sermon, then like 20 minutes in I fell asleep, but I woke up. So I was like, okay, I know I'm gonna be sleeping. I'm just gonna pause it and then take a quick little nap. And then when I wake up, I'm just gonna um, continue it. I didn't wake up till now. I don't even know what time I went to sleep for, but I slept too long. I gotta get my sleep schedule together. I got to get my sleep schedule together. So I ended up calling my mom, chit-chatting with her. And um, I had a few dishes that I hand washed. I'm a, I just put them in the dishwasher. So like I got clothes on and not walking around with just a robe. But um, yeah, I didn't, I didn't take the chicken. <laughs> so I'm gonna probably just pick some up because I did not take the chicken thighs out. And we don't have salmon, so you don't you probably pick a boat. But some chicken thighs and some salmon to go with the okra that I finished. I don't know, y'all. I really need to work on my sleep schedule, but like that's when family time is at night. So I'm trying to find a balance to where I can go to sleep at a decent time, but also fit in family time. Y'all, school is just too long. School is just too many hours in the day because by the time your kids get out of school and do any after school activities and all that, so they can have a life and be active. You trying to hurry up and have dinner time and family time and watch a movie, play a game, spend some, so they can have a childhood and so you can have memories when you look back on your life when you're older to see all the things that you did with your kids and all. It's just, you just don't have enough hours in a day, honestly. Um, I'm trying though, I really have to find a good time to be able to go to sleep wake up and then be up throughout the day. I don't mind taking a nap, but honestly, if I'm sleeping this many hours, I really believe that I am just, my body needs to rest. Or maybe I'm just giving my body too much time to rest. I don't know. I'm about to have a diary to see how long I'm sleeping, to track how long I'm sleeping, if I'm sleeping too much or too little. Because I just slept like, I wanna say give or take about Four hours. I think I was asleep about 10 and it's like two. So it's about four hours. I know I didn't sleep that much. I think I was, ugh, what time did I go to sleep for yesterday? Mm, I think I went to sleep after 12. So I don't know if I'm sleeping too much or too little, but I'm gonna have a diary of how long I sleep so I can get this together because I feel like once I get my sleep schedule together, my life just goes by so much easy breezy. Plus the cloudy days. It's warm outside, but it's cloudy and it has rain. So I gotta stop letting the weather determine my mood. It's so easy to do that though, but I didn't have coffee today. <laughs> I have coffee, but I ain't got nothing to show for it. If I were to have the coffee and then be productive, you know, have something to show for it. I don't know, but yeah, I'm about to just figure out what I'm gonna do. I'm probably just gonna go to the store when I get the kids. Pick up salmon and chicken thighs at this point, cause girl, look, you look, look, it don't even matter no more. Get both of that, then we can, um, well, bring them to the after school activities and all that good stuff. Pick up some salmon and some chicken thighs. Salmon don't take long to defrost. Chicken thighs are already gonna be defrosted. Probably, I probably could both them, y'all. At this point, I don't even know. I'm gonna figure it out. I'm gonna figure it out. But right now, I just wanted to check in with y'all and let y'all know that I slept it. But the sermon was really good though, even though I only was in 20 minutes. 
20 minutes in. I might listen to it while I drive. Ooh, multitasking. So I'm going to listen to the rest of the sermon as I drive. And I'm going to bring my Bible with me too. So while I'm waiting for them to finish whatever they're doing, if I have time, uh, I'm going to read my Bible. I don't want to say if I have time because I know the Bible comes first, but y'all know, know what I mean. Y'all know what I mean. If there's a time where I could just focus on something else and read my Bible, then that's what I'm going to do. And then I'm going to come back to y'all. It might not be till later today, but I'm going to come back and we, you know, we could talk about it. We could discuss the sermon and the Bible verses and all. I think he was in Acts chapter 12 verses 1 through 14. But I'll let y'all know for sure. But yeah, let me get on with this thing. I got to get the sleep schedule together. Once I get the sleep schedule together, we going to be in business. We're going to be rolling. We're going to be rolling. All right, y'all. See y'all in a little bit. Hey, y'all. So today is Friday. I'm sorry I didn't record yesterday. Yesterday was crazy. Uh, the kids had practice, performances. It was, it took a village. It took me, my husband, and my, um mother-in-law just to get everybody where they had to go it was crazy but y'all it's friday the kids had a half a day so now we're home i did my nails it was press-ons too plopped off i can never keep press-ons on for long but uh <laughs> yeah um i just wanted to come in here and close out the video sorry that today's hey the dogs are running around. Yeah, it is lit. It is crazy. But I did want to close out this video. I am in good spirits. I know the beginning of this week, I was struggling. I was on the struggle bus. But I've been doing so much better. And I just stopped worrying about how much coffee I was drinking. Child, I am drinking tea, coffee, and uh, <laughs> Celsius. Whatever I need to get through it, that's what I've been drinking. But, yeah, I just created a short. Oh, hold on, y'all. Hold on. All right, y'all, I had to close the room door right quick. The, the pups are running around. The kids are watching Hocus Pocus. I think that's the second one, again, because they like the part where she, they go in the makeup store and they start eating the face mask. Yeah, I don't know. They're so goofy. But, um, yeah, we're doing movie time, but I just wanted to come in here and say see y'all next week. I've had so much fun. I'm in, like, a really good spirit. Like, really, like, I recorded shorts every day. I've been having real fun. So much fun with the shorts. I really hope that y'all have been enjoying them. I'm just in a good mood. I put on some decent clothes. Well, it's shorts. I'll show y'all. Well, you'll see it in the short that's going to come out Friday, what I'm wearing. But I think I look pretty cute. Little um, lounge wear, but cute. But yeah, I put that on. I'm not wearing my pajamas. Y'all, I'm in a great mood, so I cannot wait. But yeah, I wanted to close out this video. Thank you so much for watching this video. I greatly appreciate you spending some of your valuable and lovely time with me. And until next week, next week is going to be so fun. Oh my gosh. I can't wait for y'all to see what's in store. Look at this hand. Y'all keep putting this hand up. But I cannot wait for y'all to see what is in store next week. All oh, these videos are just going to get so much better. I'm so happy to be spending this part of my life with y'all, sharing it with y'all. And again, I hope y'all enjoy. And until next week. Bye, y'all. Look at that nail. Look at that. Look at that.